Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another interesting problem from the JE main exams and it deals with small atomic particles moving at some speed through a magnetic field. So let's read the problem. It says a proton, a deuteron and an alpha particle are moving with the same momentum in a uniform magnetic field. The ratio of magnetic forces acting on them is and their speeds are in the ratio as follows and they give us four possible combination of answers so which of those four answers are correct now it turns out which is kind of interesting that they put the ratio of the magnetic forces first and then their speeds in the ratio next and that's a little bit confusing because I would want to work with their speeds first before I work on their forces and let me explain why so we have three particles we have what we call a proton we have a deuteron, which is a proton with a neutron. And then we have an alpha particle, which has two protons and two neutrons. So those are the four particles. Now, the ratio of their masses are as follows. This one has mass m, this one has mass 2m, and this has mass 4m, four times the mass. And if they have the same momentum, if P1 equals P2 equals P3, what we can then say is that the mass 1 times velocity 1 must equal mass 2 times velocity 2, which must equal mass 3 times velocity 3. And if this one has 4 times the mass of this one, then it should have 1 quarter the velocity. And if this one has twice the mass of this one, then it should have half the velocity. So, if I have v for velocity here, then here I have one half v for the velocity of this one, and one quarter v for the velocity of that one. Four times the mass, one quarter the velocity. All right. So now I have the relative masses for all three, and I have the relative velocities for all three. So, I can then go... For that one, the ratio of their speeds can now be defined this way. So if I have speeds, and if I don't want to work with fractions, I can then multiply everything by 4. So I can make this 4v, this 2v, and this v, right? If I multiply all these by 4, because I want just the ratio, then the ratio of velocity will be four times the velocity of this one, twice the velocity of this one, and one times the velocity of this one. So the speeds ratios are four to two to one. All right, so notice that comes last. So four to one, well, that means that this can, is the only one that has that as a possible answer. So right away, I say A is the answer. I can stop and move on. Well, of course, we're here to learn a few things, so let's see if we can set up the ratio of their magnetic forces. Now, when particles that are charged move through a magnetic field, they experience a force, and it's going to be equal to QVB times, of course, the sine or the cosine of the angle, whichever angle you're dealing with. And so, since Q and B are, um, so Q and B are um, constant, Oh no, they're not constant. Oh, wait a minute, they're not constant. Because notice that this has charge Q, this one has char charge Q, and this one has charge 2Q because there's two protons in that particle and only one proton there. All right, so now when we try to find QVB, notice that this one is constant, but these two are not. So I can say that force 1 is equal to Q1 times V1, so I can say Q1 is Q, V1 is 4V, so I end up with uh, 1Q, so 1Q times 4V. So this would be QVB for the first particle, because we have QVB, the first Q is 1, and the velocity is 4 times the standard velocity V. Okay, how about the force on 2? The charge is 1, and v, the velocity is 2v. That would be 2qvb, like this. And then the force on the third particle is equal to the charge is 2q, and the velocity is 1v, so qvb. Ratio-wise, we have a 4 to 2 to 2, or if I divide everything by 2, 
that means that I have a ratio of 4 to 2 to 2 or 2 to 1 to 1. So those are the ratios of the forces and here are the ratios of the speeds. Now, notice 2 1 1 is indeed the ratio of the forces belonging to part to answer A and I don't have that anywhere else. So for boat, the ratio of the forces and the ratio of the speeds, I can see that I got boat ratios simply by going through the process. So again, to find the relative masses, one mass, two masses, four masses, because there's one, two, and four nuclear particles. So notice that the momentum must be the same for all three, which means that the m times v must be the same, and the mass here is uh, one, two, and four, which means that the velocity, since the momentum has the same, must be four times the velocity, because it has one quarter the mass, twice the velocity, because it has twice the mass, and one quarter of velocity because it has four times the mass, so we have v, one half v, one quarter v, multiplying everything by four, four v, two v, one v, and so we get the ratios of their speeds. To the forces, we have qvb, so I need to account for the charge and for the velocity. The velocities are, we already have, four to one was the ratio for the speeds, or the velocities, and then the charges are one, one, and two, when you multiply, you get 4, 2, and 2, or 2, 1, and 1, and that's the ratio of the forces. And so this particular one can be done in a couple of minutes, and you move on to the next one. So that's the way you want to look at these, and that's the way it's done.